For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies has experienced remarkable success over the past 18 months. Its shares have surged by more than 300% since the beginning of 2023. The data software company appears to have a promising future, yet it is undeniable that the chance for new investors to reap significant profits has lessened after such a substantial rise. However, another data software company is waiting in the wings on Wall Street, ready to shine. Snowflake, listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol SNOW, had one of the most anticipated initial public offerings in recent memory. Unfortunately, the stock has not lived up to expectations. Over the past year, shares have lost 25% of their value and are now almost 70% below their peak in 2021. The challenges Snowflake's stock has faced are largely due to various circumstances, but the company still retains some of the attributes that initially excited Wall Street about its initial public offering. In the modern technological landscape, data is essential. Whether a company is training a complex artificial intelligence model or seeking to understand its customers' preferences, data is a critical component. Additionally, businesses are increasingly shifting their digital operations from on-premises systems to cloud-based systems, making the migration of data to the cloud a natural part of this transition. Snowflake's initial public offering was highly anticipated due to its groundbreaking product, a data warehousing platform that allows clients to securely store and query their data in the cloud. The platform is compatible with all major cloud infrastructure providers, including Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, giving customers flexibility and preventing them from being locked into a single vendor. In its fiscal 2022, which ended on January 31st, 2022, Snowflake's revenue skyrocketed by 106% to $1.1 billion. Even the renowned investor Warren Buffett, known for his cautious approach to valuations and general avoidance of technology stocks, acquired a stake in Snowflake during its initial public offering for Berkshire Hathaway. Snowflake went public in the summer of 2021 during a period of heightened enthusiasm for growth stocks. The Federal Reserve's ultra-low interest rate policy at that time inflated many stock valuations to bubble-like levels, and Snowflake was among them. At its peak, Snowflake traded at an enterprise value-to-sales ratio exceeding 215. To put this in perspective, even with the artificial intelligence-driven excitement around NVIDIA stock this year, NVIDIA's enterprise value-to-sales ratio only peaked at 45. This compared comparison highlights how inflated Snowflake's valuation had become. The stock was almost inevitably going to experience a sharp decline, regardless of the company's performance. The business itself has faced challenges. Snowflake was not immune to the effects of rising interest rates on the technology sector. The company's billing is usage-based, and macroeconomic conditions, along with economic fears, pressured customer spending, reducing the net revenue retention rate from 178% in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2022 to 100%. 28% in the first quarter of fiscal 2025. The total revenue growth decelerated from a triple-digit percentage to just over 30% in the most recent quarter. This performance is concerning, especially when considering that Snowflake's main competitor, a private company named Databricks, recently announced it is on track to achieve $2.4 billion in annualized revenue with a 60% growth rate. Higher interest rates have certainly impacted Snowflake's growth, but competition poses a more significant challenge. So why can consider investing in the stock given these issues? The answer lies in several straightforward points. Firstly, Snowflake is prepared to address competitive pressures. Databricks attributes its growth momentum to demand related to artificial intelligence. Snowflake promoted its Vice President of Artificial Intelligence, Sridhar Ramaswamy, to Chief Executive Officer following Frank Slootman's retirement earlier this year. Time will reveal how Ramaswamy performs in this role, but having leadership focused on artificial intelligence is promising. Secondly, Snowflake's growth rate is likely to stabilize and potentially improve. The company's remaining performance obligation, which which represents booked business for which revenue has not yet been recognized has seen significant growth over the past two quarters. In a broader context, the exponential growth of data inherently supports Snowflake's business model, as customers will continuously need to store and query increasing amounts of data. Thirdly, the stock's valuation is more attractive now than it was in the past. Currently, Snowflake trades at a forward enterprise value to sales ratio of just over 11. This is a fraction of its previous valuation and approximately half of what Palantir trades at. In essence, Snowflake has transitioned from being an excessively expensive favorite to an underdog with potential value. Snowflake is positioned for growth in the coming years, particularly if its new chief executive officer can enhance its success in artificial intelligence. With its current valuation 
mean, at a reasonable and arguably cheap level, investors who buy in now may enjoy exceptional returns. In the end, Snowflake faced a sharp decline due to overvaluation and rising interest rates, its growth rate is stabilizing, and its current valuation is more attractive, trading at a forward enterprise value to sales ratio of just over 11. This positions Snowflake as an undervalued stock with the potential for significant returns if its leadership successfully capitalizes on AI opportunities. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.